This week in the Missouri Senate, we review some of the highlights of the first regular session of the 99th General Assembly. We have done things that I never dreamed possible. You know, we wanted fair and free debate. The 2017 legislative session ended on May 12th. For Missouri Senate President Pro Tem Ron Richard of Joplin, this year meant new beginnings for certain priorities. I mean, when you go on issues as right to work, the calendar was a heavy lift. I mean, we put things out there on purpose to get these items debated and try to brought to a vote early. But Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader Gina Walsh of Bell Fountain Neighbors adds things changed on the last day of session. If you look at me, you can say, boy, you must really feel a sigh of relief. But if you look at Senator Curls, she's very disappointed because what's near and dear to her, she just got railroaded. Senator Richards says 81 measures were sent to the governor this session, a relatively low number compared to most sessions. I don't gauge my success on the quantity, but I think that's a pretty good description. We had great quality, great intensity on debate, great issues. Senator Walsh adds she was able to see some successes contained in those 81 bills. Passed my health care directive bill that I've been trying to do for four years. A zoo bill passed, and I was very excited about that. Senator Richards says he believes several of these measures point to quality versus quantity. I mean, we had 11 tort bills. We haven't done 11 tort bills in my 15 years here. We did them all in one year. But Senator Walsh counters state control over the minimum wage for individual cities and counties in Missouri will have a negative effect. Making minimum wage and she's 72 years old. These are not entry-level jobs anymore. Senator Richard also says calling a special session is up to the executive branch. The governor did so on Thursday, asking lawmakers to return to the Capitol to decide the fate of a steel mill and smelter slated for southeast Missouri. Well, I was here when Bob Holden did it. Remember, we was here all the way to July the 4th. I mean, he does what he does. We do what we do. Nobody tells the Senate what to do. Senator Walsh points out a special session can only be for something specific and has a time limit. The governor's going to make a call, and you can bet that the governor's going to make that call very narrow. So we can only work on what he tells us to work on. Special session will start on Monday afternoon. By law, it can last up to 60 days. At the same time, the governor has until July 14th to sign, veto, or let legislation from the regular session become law without his signature. These include the 13 measures that comprise Missouri's fiscal year 2018 budget. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of truly agreed to and finally passed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.